It's been a great few days here at CES. Um, I am very optimistic that um, the big traditional TV folks are actually embracing addressability and trying to make as much of their inventory um, addressable and available across all platforms, which is a wonderful thing for our marketing partners within Group M and the, uh, the agencies obviously that, that work with those, those clients. So being able to buy that inventory uh, as an audience first, with an audience first plan, and then follow those folks and, and hit them with something that's compelling and engaging on any screen across any of the content the you know, premium content that they uh, they produce is is good news. So when you say addressable, what does addressable mean and how much inventory would you like to see yeah. move to uh, an addressable scenario? I want it all uh, addressable. You know, my background is Zaxis and you know, we were an audience first uh, programmatic media company. Um, uh, we, we understand how uh, efficiency and effectiveness uh, lead to better outcomes for clients, and we just want to do that same thing across a much larger swath of the media industry, you know, traditional television and cable. Um, and so, fundamentally, it's, you know, these big companies have so much data, and the idea that we can uh, work with these companies and their graphs, uh, what they know about the people that come to their websites and to their shows and to their streaming services, potentially, and then uh, match our client first party data, some of the data we have within Group M, and find really high fidelity so we can engage those audiences across, again, all screens, across this great premium content, hopefully with a lighter ad load, and have not just efficient media buying, but efficient and effective media buying. So tell us about the dynamics of the marketplace right now, pricing, inventory, yeah. and so well, on. Well, you know, uh, I, I think that, that for the first time I heard the adults 18 to 34, uh, the, over 50% of those folks now are watching subscription services, right? So they're not watching traditional linear TV. And that's a, a younger demographic. You would assume they've migrated into uh, those new platforms. But we're also thinking that in 2020, you know, prediction is that uh, the largest segment of an audience, that we, a demo that we usually buy, audiences 18 to 49, will also go over the tipping point of 50% of those people will, are, are, will be watching not traditional linear TV, but you know, connected TV in some way, shape, or form. That's a big change for the industry. So our hope and the hope of our clients is that that'll open up the ability to move off of some of the traditional buying metrics, buying metrics that have been in place for 30 or 40 years and that were incredibly effective and, and, and efficient from a, a delivery standpoint. But, you know, audiences 18 to 49 as a demo are not as compelling as identifying an audience that we know a ton about, that the media company knows a ton about, and can help us more effectively target a personalized message, right time, right place, with you know, a great content and engaging content message. So what would you um, tell these media companies? What should they be doing? Hurry up. <laughs> you know, and look, th this isn't just something that they can do on their own. There's obviously measurement is hugely important. Currencies and, and how we sort of pay um, for uh, you know, media, uh, those things need to change. Um, we've got to get our clients to sort of understand how you, you know, can change a target from adults 18 to 49 to build out audiences and gain some of the insights from how those audiences engage with their message in ways in which it helps their business. It becomes this virtual cycle of giving them more information and optimizations and insights to help them be smarter about how they engage with customers. Hard to do when you just buy a day part and demo on a traditional TV or cable network.